Hi friends, myself Premon and Pillai. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for latest information technology related videos. Today I will show you how to rectify some sort of error while adding a PC to the domain controller. This is my domain controller server that is 2016 server and you can see here this is my IP of my server that is 192.168.0.1 sorry it's 2 it's my default gateway sorry okay now I am just going to my PC or the client PC that I would like to add that to the domain controller my PC is and Windows 8.1 PC now the first thing I would like to do is adding an IP of this PC as the same series of my domain okay for that I am just going to the network connections and right clicking properties now I will go to IP version 4 I am using an IP version 4 so I am going to IP version 4 and I will put the same series of IP <coughs> of my server my server IP is 2 so I am putting 3 you can put the value up to 254 okay <coughs> this is a class C type IP so it will take the subnet mask by default and the DNS server is same as my domain controller it's 0 0.2 DNS must be put as same as the ADDS server okay after that I'm clicking okay the thing I would like to do is now I will ping the DNS of my server if it will ping from here that means our connection is established between the two that is ping you can see here ping dot sorry it's ping space prem dot cap dot org space hyphen t this is my domain service name you must put your service name here now i will ping that you can see here reply from 192 .2. that means the reply is getting from the server itself okay that means our connection is established between the two that is the client and the server okay now I would like to check two three services you must type services services dot MSC and the another thing you must check is the time okay first I will check the time of the server and the client PC you can see here it is 8 32 and 31st January 2020 okay let me check the servers you can see here the time is different that means <laughs> the PC will not join the server you can have plus or minus 5 time will be that's no issue if that is more than that then you must change the time as per the server or the can see here dead and time and I'm changing the date that is 31st and time is let me check the correct time 33 okay 
now I will change the time it's 8 33 you can see here it's AM okay now it is correct okay now I am going back to my client server the time is same now I will check two three services the first one is TCP IP net BIOS you can see here it must be running condition and the another one is Windows time you can see here this one it will be in manual mode if it is disabled then it will make some sort of errors in the workstation workstation it must be also in running condition the next one is net logo it must be in manual when we join the domain it will automatically start it okay these are the services and now I will try to join the domain sometimes it will show some sort of errors and I will show you how to rectify that <coughs> you can see here it's in work group and I am just changing the work group Now I am changing. Now you can see here this is domain and I am putting my domain name. That means it is connected and I have a username that is frame and I have a password here. Actually I created that on my ADDS. Let me check it is working or not working. This is the error. That is the network path was not found. Now you can see the error. That is the network path was not found. And I will show you how to rectify this. Okay. I'm just closing this one and again I am just closing this one and this one also now I will go to the control panel and I will go to the Windows firewall and I will go to advanced settings In most of the PCs, there are so many rules created on the inbound and outbound so that you can protect your PC from external or internal attacks. I have such one that is my cyber. You have port blocking or anything. You must go to the port and protocols. Then you must remove the port that is 445. I just remove that okay it's done now I will go to the inbound rules then I will check there is also one I had created cyber you may be it may be uh, port blocking or anything you must check your rules in the firewall advance now you can see here, here also there is 445 I just deleted that also everything is fine now let me check that once more okay 
now again I am going to change and this domain now I will put my domain name here again I am using my user credentials now you can see here the network path node found error is sold and my client PC is joined to the ADDS Now you can see here you must restart your computer to apply these changes and my PC is added to the domain. Okay. I'm just restarting my PC. Let me check if it's working or not working. It is taking a while. Yes, now you can see here this is my computer name and this is my ADDS username. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for latest information technology related videos.